I know what you guys are thinking, but this is not that type of movie. But before we go on further, let's do a bit of a sound test. From the edge of your seat to the edge of reality. Enjoy crystal clear images and colors so intense they will take your breath away in specially designed theaters that bring you closer to the movies you love. Huge panoramic screens that allow you to escape into your favorite movie scenes and immersive sound that will surround you from here. Here. And here. We can take you from a pin drop to the thunder of a jet engine. So sit back and get ready to enjoy an unparalleled movie experience. Hey, what's it? You want to be a blockbuster? Any lighting project? Still, as more quims and equal stage, your light is coming. Okay, watch and you show stage lighting. Good evening, Doctor. Mila, Kusuru Rasho. Ah, Nini Kusuru Rasho. Rasho, Mina feeling is scam. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to 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 Zaki my baby of Oh my god! Oh, 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 my god! Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. sunrise, sunset. <laughs> Note to self, stop doing anything. Thank you, Homer Simpson, our correspondent on the field, for letting us know we need the sun for outdoor lighting. Uh, my name is Renee Mwangi, and I'm a pre-KSL student at uh, Riara University. Uh, Rasho, it's a, it's a good tradition that uh, Kenya is still upholding uh, in terms of not just the Kikuyu culture because other cultures have adopted it. But uh, my take is that it's, uh, it's become an exploitative uh, kind of thing, um, per se call it a business, because you find that people end up, you know, getting broke. They end up um, taking loans that they cannot really uh, afford, and you find that uh, the girls' side of you know the marriages takes advantage of it. So maybe we can go back to our roots and cultures and just see what was embedded in order to come up with the whole rationale of a ratio, rather than exploiting you know a young couple that's trying to start up a family. Um, I think then we'll say that we can always uphold it. But uh, at the moment, you can clearly see that people avoid the whole notion and they end up going to the attorney general and just you know call it um, a marriage. So basically, um, um, it has its pros and cons. But if if it was me, I would never do a ratio. I'd rather have an expensive honeymoon because a wedding it's mainly you know you're out there trying to please who's not even involved who's never even been involved in your in your life per se but in a honeymoon it's really something very intimate because because it's between you and uh, now your spouse to be so you're able to also connect uh, on a deeper level where there's love, there's money, there's, you know, you're being splashed at. So I'd rather, I'd, I'd look at it as something more intimate. So of course I'd rather go for a, a nice honeymoon.
I'm Virginia Wanjiro. Uh, Rural shows are a good thing. And yeah, they, yeah, I love, I like Rural shows. First, because of food, and then because it's more of the first stage of marriage. Expensive honeymoon, because honeymoon is where you get to spend time together. The wedding is more of the people. Hey, what's it? Imagine to go indoor, but kuna lights. The ratio is basically it's a Kikuyu uh, way of culture, um, and it's when bride price is going to be paid. So the boy's parent uh, go and meet the, the girl's parents to de discuss and negotiate for the bride price. I feel like it's very important because um, as Africans, this is our tradition, this is our culture. So um, it being a tradition and a culture, it's a, way, it's a good way of form of life because it's what makes us us. And um, I really support it. I feel like you have to appreciate the girl's parents for taking good care of her and so that you and your wife can also have a good relationship and a good family. I'd say an expensive honeymoon because hey yeah, but you only tricks you only tricks kidog expensive wedding or expensive honeymoon ah oh, yeah, yeah 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 coming to think of it I'd want an expensive honeymoon because you see when it's honeymoon it's me and my it's me and my bride but when it's an expensive wedding, eh, that's the family, that's everyone, and not that it's not mean, selfish. Like, I feel like wedding ni to a wheel, you get. Like marriage is a two people thing. So I'd say an expensive honeymoon. So that at least to Kajibambe, the expensive yani. My name is Mombi. I think they are fine, they are really nice because it's a way to express our culture. Yes, and to do things the right way in the Nini, in the Nini Kenyan setting, Kikuyu setting. Yeah, and Nini, at the end of it all, we are African, so yeah. Expensive honeymoon. Um, because a wedding, it is just a day and Nini, a honeymoon one, it's a week. Plus, plus you will make a lot of good, good Nini memories with your husband. Mimi kama kawa ni anka wako wa power Fred Omondi. Nikiwacha na msemo mmoja kama kawa. <laughs> Mwenda tezi na omo. Akona nguo mob za kuvua. Mtongo lights takwaje. I know you guys thought I would plagiarize this guy's work. But majama lights. How will it be? <laughs>